Mr. Victor Choi is Executive Director, Head of Markets and Investment Solutions Asia for Credit Agricole Private Banking. Hello, Mr. Choi. Nice to meet you today, Piot. What are the main economic and political factors today that investment managers in Asia should be taking into consideration? I think uh, what we are having in the global markets right now is a divergence uh, emerging uh, among the global markets. First, you have the Fed, which is uh, approaching the, the end of the QE program, and uh, and the market is uh, is expecting that you know the first rate hike could come uh, around the middle of next year. So, um, we, this is definitely a good news in a way because uh, you know US cannot be hiking interest rates if its a recovery um, cannot be sustained, right? So first, you have uh, you have the US, which is exiting. Uh, from the stimulus program. Whereas on the other hand, what, what we are having is Japan and Europe continue to be intensifying their, uh, um, their stimulus program. And uh, so, so this kind of divergence is something that is important uh, in, the, in, the, in the decisions making going forward. How are these factors likely to affect effects and precious metals markets in Asia? Again, um, the Fed will be in the driving seat um, to drive the market going forward, as always. Um, as we also um, agree uh, to the consensus that you know the, the, the Fed tightening could happen around the middle of next year or late next year, uh, we believe that that will uh, continue to be a bullish scenario for the US dollars. Okay? And uh, because at the end, when, it, when we are talking about relative economic performance or the, or, or, or the interest rate on the US dollar, I mean, the, the, the divergence between the dollar and other major currencies um, is really diverging between dollar and euro or dollar and the yen. So we continue to hold our bullish view on the US dollars against the euro and the Japanese yen. Um, this is pretty much this, uh, the same case for gold as well, uh, because historically, gold has been negatively correlated with the real interest rate of the dollar. And uh, so, you know, by, I mean, by default, when the US dollar interest rate goes up, then it will exert some pressures on the precious metals. We are firmly of the belief that um, equities is still the asset class of the choice, uh, because uh, we are still in the middle of the expansion cycle in the US, which is still uh, the growth engine of the world. So uh, what we believe in is that we will continue to be overweight in equities. When it comes to the fixed income, we, um, we are having a kind of um, 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 neutral to bearish views um, on the long-term interest rates, uh, on the long-term bond of, of, of US dollar. So that actually what we are having is to keep the duration short uh, for our fixed income uh, portfolios. And uh, we are now trading at about 2.4-ish, 2.5% on the 10-year um, US dollar interest rates. Uh, we think that there should be a good chance for it to go back to like 2.75 to 3% uh, for the next 12 months. And so because of that, um, because of that, uh, then, uh, then, then, then our position is going to have a short duration uh, in our portfolio. We will also keep a very close eye on the German Bundesyield because of the ECB um, um, easing bias. Uh, the Bund yield is now very low for the for the ten year wise. It's now sitting at at or below one percent, and so uh, we don't believe that such a such a divergence uh, will expand too much uh, between the US and the and the and the, and the Euro ten year interest rates. So in a way, uh, this very low Bund yield will also uh, bring some downward pressure on the on the on the on the ten year US dollar yield as well, and so because of that, uh, we are only mildly bearish for the uh, for the for the ten year US dollar bonds. When you look at the global markets these days, the geopolitical risks um, still exist uh, in the, you know in quite a large parts of the world. You know, um, so this is something that is uh, that is uh, that is that. That will be alert uh, by myself, definitely. And second, uh, the, the the asset prices around the world, um, especially on the on the real estate, on the real estate prices, is also quite high around the world. So uh, this is something that um, I will also be paying attention to.